We are back. I got a good one for you guys today. Who are we talking about? You maybe have heard of this company. Who are we talking about? Starbucks. Now, we all know that Starbucks sells uh, pretty good coffee. Actually, it was just there this past weekend, but they are suing a company, a marijuana company, you may, I might add. You may be thinking about, hey, man, how does... How does this all work out? I'm explaining. We're going to go all into it today. We're going to get all into it. But first, let me pull up the company. You guys are going to get a kick out of this one. They are suing a marijuana company called Star Buds. And you guys may have uh, caught this video that I had there recently where apparently the logo, the Starbucks logo is a siren, which is like a Greek character, mermaid, that type of a thing. And apparently what these guys did at Starbucks, as you see on the screen, is uh, they put a joint in their mouth. You got the smoke coming out. Again, Starbucks, Starbucks, oh, that's pretty close. Uh, but the big thing is the logo. So as we read through the article, we're going to read through this article. Uh, man, we're going to, we're going to, there's going to be some learning lessons in here, but hey, the guy, you see, like my man uh, ratted him out. What do you say? Check out the logo on a Starbucks truck. I, apparently, this is a, a marijuana, uh, a mobile marijuana uh, dispensary truck out in New York City. What, what the guy say? This is copyright infringement. It is copyright infringement, but it's also a trademark infringement. We'll get off into it. But what he says, but doubt Starbucks cares enough to sue them. Well, my friend, Rajendra, that's a odd name. Uh, Rajendra, you were wrong because Starbucks did care enough and they did sue them. So I may actually break, go down, break down a lawsuit when I go live. I typically do one live every Sunday uh, a week and I break down the actual IP lawsuit, whether it's trademarks, patents, copyright. So I may break down the actual lawsuit. But again, this is just something that just is fresh off the press. And as an intellectual property attorney dealing with everything from copyrights to patents to trademarks, I thought you guys uh, would get a kick out of this one. So let's read the article and then uh, I'll give you my thoughts. But you may be asking, hey, I thought with likelihood of confusion, you had to be in an actual same industry as the person that you're infringing on the trademark. Clearly, I had did one on Pot Dots back uh, just probably a couple months ago where I, obviously we know Tootsie Roll on the the candy dots, which I haven't had in a long time, but then you had a marijuana company actually out of my, in my backyard, Lansing, Michigan, that had the name pot dots and Tootsie Roll sued them for trademark infringement. And ultimately pot dots ended up changing their name, but those were both dealing with candy or at least, uh, you know, some type of food item where you had pot dots was, uh, you know, it, it, again, it's, I want to call it candy, but it's definitely an edible. And then you had dots, which is a candy, but it's all in the kind of the same realm. But in this case, you have Starbucks, which we all know is coffee. Uh, they sell food, but the big thing is coffee. And then you have Starbucks, which is marijuana. This is clearly two different things. It's this thing called tarnishment. And I'm pretty sure this is if we, when we go through the lawsuit at a later date, you will, we will start to see. Uh, how this tarnishment comes into play where if you have a famous mark, and I think we all agree that a Starbucks is a famous mark known all over, not just the US, but the world. If you have if you have a famous mark and somebody is coming along and they're kind of using your famous mark in an offensive way, uh, or a way that you would think tarnishes the mark or just not a good look for the mark, then you can actually sue them for trademark infringement. And because you have a, a mark that's famous, you can specifically sued them for tarnishment of the mark, even though, because I think we can all agree that coffee and weed is two different things. This is not the dots in a pot dot case where at least both of those were kind of candy, edibles, that type of a thing. This is clearly two different uh, arenas, industries. When you're talking about coffee, and you're talking about uh, marijuana or dispensary services. However, the fact that Starbucks is a famous mark, and I'm pretty sure they don't want to see the siren with a joint in his mouth or joining her mouth and, you know, smoke clouds coming out of it. I, I, you can make a good argument that that's an offensive mark or it tarnishes the, uh, the, the, the prestige of the actual siren, the Starbucks logo. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they're coming up, coming up uh, after 
the Starbucks company up with. I haven't picked up the lawsuit yet. I'll probably take a look at it at a later date and actually probably break it down. But I did want to go through this article here. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me pull it up. And uh, we'll see what they're talking about and go from there. So here we go. This is from Yahoo's fi Yahoo Finance. Starbucks sues marijuana retailer over trademark infringement. Let's see what they're talking about. This is hot off the press. July 1st, 2024, the first day of July, which is today. Global coffee house chain Starbucks has initiated legal action in the U.S. against a mobile marijuana retailer that operates under Starbucks flowers, alleging trademark infringement. And I must stop this. And, and, and it's interesting because they're not, as we read through this article, even though you have Starbucks and Starbucks. That's not necessarily uh, what they're coming after the marijuana company for. They actually are coming out of the, coming after the marijuana com company specifically for the, the siren, the logo of you know the siren smoking a joint, the mermaid, the Greek got Greek uh, figure smoking a joint. That's what they're. Uh, that's what Starbucks is coming after the Starbucks company for. It's not okay, Starbucks, Starbucks. Even though it's similar, I don't think you can say it's confusingly similar. But the logo is what they're coming after. Uh, this Starbucks company. So I did want to point that out. Let's get back to the uh, Yahoo Finance article. The lawsuit filed in New York claims that Starbucks logo is confusingly similar. So this was, I just pointed it out. It said claims that's a Starbucks, Starbucks logo. They didn't say anything about the actual word mark. They're talking about the logo specifically. It's confusingly similar and nearly identical to Starbucks iconic green siren emblem. I, I, I will agree with that, but I'll take it one step further to say, hey, it's kind of two different industries, but the fact that the Starbucks logo is famous, uh, and you know, this Starbucks mark can be looked at as offensive or tarnished to Starbucks uh, mark. I'm pretty sure that's the angle that uh Starbucks came, but let's let's keep going. It targets Brand Pet. I'm assuming Brand Pet is the owner of uh okay, yeah, the operator behind Starbucks, which claims of copyright and trademark infringement. And this is important because when you're talking about logos, there's very few. Each form of intellectual property protects something different. So you're talking about a patent, that's uh, the usability of it. When you're talking about patenting a cup or a pen or a pencil or the iPhone, that's protecting the actual usability of the utility of it, and then, uh, of the actual product, of the actual thing. Then you have trademarks, which protects the logo, the phrase, uh, more, more, more or less a brand. When you're talking about branding, that's where the trademark comes in. Then you have copyrights, which is more so a creative protects a creative expression, whether it's a book, whether it's a movie, whether it's a TV show, whether it's a choreographic, whether it's a music, sound recording. It's kind of uh, protecting the creativity. However, copyright also protects 2D works or 3D works. And that's where you have this overlap between trademark law and copyright law, because trademark, we all know a logo, 2D picture. You can get that trademark. However, you can also get it copyrighted. And that's where you have that overlap between the two uh, forms of intellectual property. And you see that playing a part here in uh, the actual article here. So I did want to point that out because I think that was important. Let's continue on with the mark uh, or continue on with the, uh, the article here. So it talks about you know copyright, trademark infringement, as well as trademark dilution. That's where you have another the famous mark you're trying to come after on with that. According to the complaint, Starbucks use of a double ring green circle, capital letters and a siren, which I just recently found out when I was breaking down the siren, which they actually, man, that's a long story, but go check out that video where Starbucks was able to take the, the trademark for a siren, which is this, uh, this, this Greek figure, this actual mermaid. They was able to actually take it from a company out of Alaska who was looking to trademark it. And they were first in line actually, but long story, but Starbucks was able to get that. So uh, again, that's what they're kind of describing with the logo with Starbucks use of a double ring green circle, which is similar to what Starbucks uses, capital letters and a siren image, along with the phonetically similar name is an attempt to mimic the Starbucks brand. And I will agree with that. And I, I think this is a good point to, uh, to, to point out and talk about because we have seen this over and over again. I have talked about it and broke it down with the dot, the pot dots and the dots. I get it. I'm not sure what's going on with the marijuana company specifically trying to kind of piggyback and, uh, you know, get some notoriety off of these kind of famous marks, if you will. But it's not going to end well. 
We're going. This is not going to end well for Starbucks, at least as it relates to the Siren logo. Seems like they actually have a food truck. I mean, not a food truck, but a mobile delivery truck in New York that is actually riding around with this logo on it. And it's just not going to end well. You're going to have to actually at some point change the logo. You may be hit with money damages. And uh, so it's just not going to end well. So I'm not sure what's going on specifically with these marijuana companies trying to kind of piggyback off these famous marks, whether it's Dots or whether it's Starbucks. But ultimately, this stuff is not going to end well. So, uh, yeah, I, I, it seems like that's been, uh, th these been, you know, coming up uh, a lot lately as far as uh, these startup companies, specifically marijuana companies in this case, trying to piggyback off these uh, famous marks. So let's finish the article here. The cannabis retailer allegedly uses the logo on a repurposed food truck uh, as website and its products. It's interesting because, and I'm not going to go, the website now but the actual website and they may scrub it man it is it is it, this is the interesting thing about this whole trademark stuff because these companies again i'm sure starbucks sent starbucks a number of cease and desist letters and i would imagine that starbucks ignored them all but then next thing you know you get hit with that lawsuit and you start taking stuff down you're scrambling i went through of the social media, the IG page of Starbucks. I went through the actual website. It's no picture of the food truck on it, which leads me to believe, especially if they're talking about in this article, that at one point in time, this food truck having this logo was on the website, was on the IG page. I would imagine after they got slapped with the lawsuit, they took all this stuff down. So, man, it's it's it's, it's unfortunate, but you kind of see a, a similar thing, and, and you know you're doing something wrong when you start taking these things down. Uh, Talking a little bit about uh the coffee uh start the coffee company Starbucks uh has been using this trademark since the 70s and argues that Starbucks clearly trades on the recognition of the extensive consumer recognition of Starbucks. I uh would agree with that. Starbucks first became aware of the legend from so this has been going on for a while, over a year. See, I told you and, see, and sent a cease and desist letter to the company in August of that year. So last August, they sent the first cease and desist letter after receiving no response. I told you they hey, we're gonna blow it off. Starbucks issued a takedown notice under Digital Millennium and Copyright Act to Starbucks website hosting service provided back in uh, or earlier this year. I'm going to have to actually go through this uh, the Digital Millennium and Copyright Act. That's that. I think that's pretty helpful. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but I, I may break that down later. Further efforts to engage the New York State Office of Cannabis Management in March also went unanswered. Hey, so it seemed like Starbucks had reached out to the New York State Office who's uh, dealing with cannabis management and that went unanswered starbuck is represented by such and such whatever whatever and i'm in michigan and marijuana has been legal for a while now i didn't realize that marijuana was legal in uh in new york obviously we know it's legal in cali and you know canada our friends to the north here in michigan i know not all states is legal uh i think florida is legal uh but i didn't realize that it was legal up in new york i know new york doing some crazy things but nonetheless what do you guys think do you think uh they that the Starbucks company was trying to trade, as the article puts it, and as I'm putting it on the recognition of the actual Starbucks, or do you think it was something else going on? How do you think it's going to end? Do you think it's going to be just hey, we hey, just take it down and we good, or do you think that the court is going to make Starbucks pay some money to Starbucks? And, and should they, especially if they're trading on kind of that name trade again, just trying to piggyback off the recognition recognition of actual starbucks which we all have come to know and it's been around forever it seems like so i, I think this is going to be an interesting one but hey nonetheless i had to got to bring you guys the latest and greatest again this was fresh off the press article i just read with Jess uh, of yahoo yahoo finance just issued this or well, today first day of the month july 1st and uh yeah man let this be a lesson learned you're not going to get away with this stuff you see the guy saying hey i don't think starbucks even cares wrong you're going to get caught and when you get caught, it's just going to set you back, set you back. So, hey, let this be a lesson learned. We got another one, what they say, DJ Kelly, and another one. Uh, and until next time, take care. Peace.